Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're on our way to New Bethesda, the little village in the mountains around here. At the moment, we're driving just along the boundary fence of the Mountain Zebra National Park. And we're heading out in the direction of Graf Renet from here. And then we'll turn off into the mountains to New Bethesda. And then from just north of New Bethesda is the highest peak. But I forget its name. I'll have to look it up again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you were going to tell us such beautiful things and then you forgot it. Oh dear, oh dear. yes. Oops. <laughs> but I look it up and I'll tell you. And But we, we, we do go over a pass yes. um, through here. So... Uh, it's a little bit hazy today. We might not get such fantastic views, but still. Here we go, the Wabatsberg Pass. Here we go. cloud on the top of it. It's got to be the highest peak. Yo, that must be. Which I looked up and it is the Kumpasberg. 2,500 and I think it was two <laughs> meters. Oh, my brain is busy dying. I can't remember anything. Check this mountain. Oh wow, that's cool. Looks like it's just burst up out of the earth. Yes. It's a heap. Yeah. Quite a heap. Gosh. Yes, you turn completely back upon yourself. And the tall road ends. New Bethesda, yes. Okay, there's an art gallery, sculpture studio. The little village of New Bethesda, like many other Karoo villages, was founded as a church town in 1875. Today, it is home to a thriving artist community, but is best known for the Owl House, home of the late Helen Martins. Oh, here we go, here's the ticket. Yes. But in her mid-thirties, Helen Martins, as the youngest and unmarried daughter, 
reluctantly returned to New Bethesda to care for her ailing parents. After our video, yes, we're going to actually go and look at Helen Martin's house. crushed glass in everything so she was obsessed with light and color color sight yes because the video ended saying that when she started to lose her eyesight she took her own life helen's self-portrait a windowless room that her father died in Right? Yes, according and to then, what the video said. Yeah, and then she painted it black. And called it the lion's den. Yeah. It's black, but it's got crushed glass. Yes. Mixed into the paint. Yes. Wow. Very creaky, the floor. Yeah. It's kind of creaky and a little freaky at the same time. Yeah, I don't want this door to close. <laughs> you know? No, no. no. Will Bull please enter? The floor is all of glass. Even the wooden glass chips. The wooden cupboard doors and the doors of the house itself yes. is covered in crushed glass. Well, even, there's even crushed glass on the ceiling. Yes. Sure. And the video said what she really loved sun faces. Sun faces, yes. There's one in the window. Even inside of the doors, everywhere, absolutely everywhere, it's just glass. The thing that fascinates me is that the ceilings have got glass on. There's a huge sun face above us. Oh yes. On the ceiling. On the ceiling, yes. This must have been where she kept all her crushed glass because all these bottles are filled with crushed glass. Wow, the rooms must have sparkled. Yo, oh, wow, I must say, yo, you gotta come to the owl house. It's it's just fascinating. It's Fascinating. It's an, wow, well, I must say, it is an experience to go there. Wow, look at this beautiful old church. And a lot of these old houses have sort of taken a leaf out of Helen Martin's book because everywhere on the little stoopies and things, there's some like crosses and mirror Mirrors. work and such type of things Yo, it reminds you of the owl house Yo, yeah like this one yes yes that's got these like dogs that kind of look like crocodiles with glass <laughs> on them and then a yes. rabbit with glass eyes yes yes uh, here's the starry nights guest house also with the same sort of decorative things there's a cow on the wall. <laughs> a cow on the wall. I see, yes. And the cow jumped over the moon, it said, on the board there. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole little town has sort of taken on the that theme. whole, yes, that whole idea. Which is quite sad because apparently when she was alive then the whole town just took her for a mad old lady 
she said, oh, well, the people in the town think she's mad and it, you know, it's a waste of their time to argue with a mad person. So then they just leave her alone and then she can get on with doing what she wants. But apparently also in that letter towards the end, it's, there was a quote from her that she said, she sees everything through a mist and the darkness is closing in on her and she is just so terribly depressed. She was very specific in her will as well. Yes, her will is up there, you could read it. Yes, she wanted to be taken out by the back door, her body, and she had her reasons, and when she was asked, what is that? She said, the people in the town are so careless that they will bump uh, her body up against the walls and then it'll rub off all her precious glass. Down each little street, there's something strange. Well, on our way out, we found this place, Tot Hier Tu, Potstal. Yeah, looks quite <laughs> interesting. Yes. So we got ourselves some nice um, meat. Oh yes, some uh, kudu sausage and kudu susatis mm -hmm. and some lamb chops. Yes. They say it's from the farm, their own farm. Yes, real karoo lamb. So uh, that should be really good. Yes. Uh, yo, but it is freezing now, yo. absolutely freezing. And the lady that helped us, she said it's going to rain now, now. Yo, yo. <laughs> she said the rain is coming. So, yo, it is cold. That's why we've got the jackets on again. Yo. But it was a very interesting visit to New Bethesda. Yes, definitely. So now we're on our way back. Yep. Okay, hello, we're back again. That was a lovely trip out to New Bethesda. And we have just got back and it is load shedding. So now, to make a cup of coffee, we <laughs> have to get our gas bottle out of the back of yes. the car. Oh, it's that way. Hmm. So yes, thank goodness we do have a gas bottle. Yes, there we go. All set up. We can employ for this, otherwise we would have been coffeeless. Oh, and that's a travesty. Oh no, that's terrible. On goes the pot. There we go. Very, very good, <laughs> very, very good. So, voila. Well, well, while that goes on, I think, um, well, I think we can end this video here, hey? Oh, I suppose so, yes. yes. It's been a nice day. It's been a very nice day, very interesting, beautiful scenery through the mountains. And yes. yo, that owl house just blew me away. <laughs> yes. Um, it's so interesting, if not a bit oddly disturbing. Yes, strangely. Yes. Yo, it leaves you with a strange feeling, but really it's something to actually just go and experience. Yeah. You know? It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so <Yo>. if you <laughs> enjoyed this episode, please give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below please yes and then we will see you further down the road